Hello. So, one of my sources have told me, thank you Claire, that unicorns are still very much in right now with the youngsters. So today I'm filming a unicorn inspired look. I have my white wig on which is giving me real life pixie vibes right now. I really wouldn't be mad if my hair was this short. I quite like it. I've got a nice flowery headband in and of course the unicorn horn. And you guys, I can't lie, I have already introed this and started to explain what I was doing, hence why I've got white face paint on right now to realise I wasn't actually filming. I've got an array of different things I'll be using in this video, from face paints to coloured glitters, I've got coloured hair extensions even, rhinestones of course. And I'm not really too sure how I'm going to do this yet, but I needed to get a white base down first, so I've done a really thin layer, and I've done it slightly thicker on my face. Yeah, fingers crossed this turns out somewhat unicorn-like, we shall see. Or you'd have already seen actually in the thumbnail, but without further ado, let's get on into the video. So I haven't painted my eyelids because I'm going to go in and do some black winged liner and then some shadows on top. Shock horror, you're actually going to see me do that on camera. Since when did unicorns become a thing? Like, they were never a thing when I was younger, I don't think. I remember My Little Pony, that was pink, and also... There were some ponies and horses that came with Barbie dolls, but which were white and had coloured hair, but I don't think they were unicorns. Quite interested to know the background on this. I'm going to zoom you in a little closer. Just so you know, I am doing the winged liner in black face paint. I feel like sometimes I find it easier to use that rather than eyeliner. hey ho. If you do end up doing this though, make sure your brush isn't too watery and you don't have a lot of product on there because you don't want it running into your eyes. That is very OTT, which is what I'm after. Never know when to stop with the point. I just keep going until it gets thinner and thinner, which actually in turn gets thicker and thicker. Hence why I keep going. So unfortunately I've lost some footage of where I've done my nose and my eyebrows so enjoy this still for a second just to get the vibe as to what I've done and also I've gone really quiet but that's because I'm completely in the zone just so you know.
Okay, so there you have it. This is my take on the unicorn. I actually think it turned out okay. I would love to know your feedback. Let me know if this is something that you would do or your daughters or sons may like. I didn't end up talking through what I was doing because I just got so into the zone in the end. But I hope I captured every bit step by step so that you could see what I was doing. And also I didn't end up using the colour glitter because I quite like the iridescent gems and I had some iridescent silver glitter so I thought that was enough. Of course you can go absolutely crazy and chuck on some pink, purple and blue glitter as well but I thought this was just about right. So if you like how this look turned out today then please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up before you go sub and I will catch you tomorrow. Bye! Digging it.